Alrighty. Hello, everyone. So there's been an interesting thread on Reddit uh, from a developer who's asking, how do I do WebSockets with Ruby? And it's surprising to me that this is kind of <clears throat> uh, a question that is as complicated as it is. Um, some of the answers involved, uh, what is it, action, action cable? Uh, hold on, let me see the stream is working. Okay, cool, it seems to be working. Um, uh, Faye WebSockets is one that's been around for a long time. And deploying that in a cert, like as a server, how do you do that? It's just all so complicated. And um, it's surprising after like how many years WebSockets have existed that Ruby doesn't seem to have a great solution. But here today, <laughs> I'm going to give you an example of async WebSocket, which simplifies everything. Uh, <clears throat> it's not necessarily what I would say is production ready. And maybe it's a mistake to say that, but uh, you can use it in production and hopefully it works and works well, uh, but not enough people are using it in production at the moment. So <clears throat> use this as a stepping stone for building something cool. And if you can use it in production, uh, give me some feedback about it and then we'll see how we go. So uh, I guess first I'm going to make a server. Um, we're just going to use a standard rack, rack up file. And we need to use Falcon to host this because we're going to use async WebSocket, which requires an async container. There's no reason why other web servers couldn't support this. It's just that um, they'd need to support async. So we're just going to bind to localhost 7070 for testing purposes. We need to pull in the appropriate adapter. And then we're going to build our app. So this line here, um, <clears throat> it essentially takes the rack env and it builds a WebSocket connection out of it. This uh, does require, as I said, like async and Falcon. And the reason for that is because it requires bi-directional uh, streaming support within the server. In particular, this actually supports both HTTP1 and HTTP2 WebSockets, which I think is pretty cool um, and is unique to this uh, kind of setup. So once we have a connection, so this is incoming connection on the server, we can read messages and we can write messages back out. And by default, um, <clears throat> this connection object is reading and writing JSON data structures. So uh, it will automatically uh, serialize and deserialize JSON for you. If you want to change that, um, you provide your own connection class, which does the serialization and deserialization. Uh, but JSON is pretty typical for WebSockets, so it's the default. Excellent. So this is a very simple server. All it's going to do is read a message and write it back out again. It's actually pretty unexciting. We could make it more exciting, but let's just keep it simple to start with. Let's make that file executable and then run it. Hopefully it doesn't do that. <laughs> what have I stuffed up? Uh, oh yeah, I know. We need env passes the last argument as the configuration path. And I'm already running a server over there. Excellent. So the server is up and running now. It can accept WebSocket connections. We don't have a client yet, so let's make a client. So the client is 
sort of the same, but the opposite side of the coin. Uh, we're using async WebSocket, which also provides the client implementation. We need async, <coughs> uh, and we need that. And I wonder if we actually need any other stuff. I'm just I've got some sample code over here that I'm. Um, you know, this is what I prepared earlier, uh, if everything goes to custard, but hopefully it doesn't. Uh, right, so we want to make um, we'll just grab the URL from the command line, or if none was provided, we'll use this one we specified in the server. We're going to make an async block, so we can start doing our work. Then we are going to So this line here essentially takes that URL and parses it into something we can connect to. Um, if that's HTTPS, it will set up SSL for us. Uh, everything is pretty much done automatically. It's HTTP specific, uh, but it's highly useful. So we're going to connect to that endpoint. Then we are going to write a message and then we're going to read a message. Put it in a loop just in case we get more than one back, not that we're expecting that. We probably need to add one more require here. And that is our client, it's the whole client, and it works with both HTTP1 and HTTP2 WebSockets, although HTTP2 is a little bit more tricky. Um, I actually, I had someone who was using this and uh, the server supported HTTP2, I guess it would be Nginx or something, but it didn't support HTTP2 WebSockets. And if this async WebSocket client can connect, it will negotiate HTTP2 by default, and then it can't negotiate a WebSocket connection, so it will fail. There's no fallback code, maybe there should be, um, but the simplest option is you can force it to just connect using HTTP1, and there's a simple enough way of doing that. You just basically provide as an argument to connect it. I actually had it off the top of my head, but that's uh, in the documentation, so. Excellent, let's try running the client. Hopefully it works first time. I'm not in the right directory. Excellent, so we wrote the message and we printed out what we got back. And just to show you that it is working, let's put reverse on the server and let's give it a couple of things in the array. Restart the server, <coughs> run the client again, and everything comes out backwards. That's on purpose, it's not a bug. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it's really that simple. Uh, if you use Falcon, um, this will scale up pretty well. Uh, there was a recent video I gave uh, demonstrating 1 million simultaneous connections to a single instance of Falcon. So if you build this this way, um, both the client and server are very scalable and you shouldn't run into any issues and you should totally use it in production <laughs> uh, Yeah Excellent. Well, that was short, but it's short because it's easy and feel free to try it out and give me your feedback. So it'll be awesome. Excellent See you guys later